Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today we're going to be looking at how to create these uh, growing plants that, uh, yeah, I don't know how they're called, but uh, the vines, I think, uh, yeah, these here. Uh, I used them in this uh, short kind of uh, scene here, animation cartoon scene. You can see them here. So I think we're going to make them for uh, this side wall so that uh, it's not that visible and uh, just to show you how how you can create them without using in any plugins i don't want to see this uh, this wall here so i'm going to make them grow around this wall here so without using any plugins so let's dive in and uh, see how to make uh, those and yeah, so the first thing you want to do is uh, create uh, the plant itself uh, that is going to be growing uh, over the surface so we're going to start with a, a plane or something like this I subdivide it a few times you don't want to use a lot of subdivisions okay just how is something like that that is good enough I think and then turn uh, shade smooth make sure that uh, your pivot point is at the corner there at the end edge like that then let's uh, find uh, find ourselves as some um, uh, leaves have a tree you can use so I'm just going to go to my textures folder and uh, and a leaf uh, preferably you want to use something with uh, that has alpha channel or has transparency but uh, if it has uh, a white background you can also key out that uh, using uh, the car ramp so let's uh, find something here uh, I think this this uh, is good enough I think uh, let me just go with a. Uh, I don't know what to use. Let's just go with this. I think this open image. Let's go to look dev. So this has an alpha channel, so that uh, is going to really help us. Uh, we can connect that directly into the uh, alpha channel here. Connect that and uh, let me turn off some of these effects uh, so that we can uh, so that things can run much smoother in the viewport uh, if we go to you can see that uh, I want my stock here this stock here to be here but uh, right now it's surface in this direction so I'll just go to the UV editor and uh, rotate these around until it faces so that I can rotate I rotate my UVs until it fit uh, the stock faces where I want it to face something like that I can use this as the base color and uh, if we go to the material uh, if you're using cycles you don't have to do this but uh, if you're using EV you have to turn on alpha blend so that you can see through uh, the plant and uh, yeah for the shadow you can either use alpha hash or clip I'm just going to use clip uh, for faster render times. Uh, uh, if your image, if the image you use doesn't have alpha channel, you can just use uh, this here and add a car ramp uh, to it. Then just uh, move this around until you get a black and white uh, mask or something like that. Uh, but uh, since this has, a, has alpha channel, uh, we can just use uh, that. Now you can also fit this into uh, the translucent translucency if you want to get that to have some translucence uh, for your uh, leaves. But uh, I'm not going to, to worry too much about that. Let's uh, reduce the emit occlusion here. It's getting a bit noisy for me. Yeah. So now that we have our plant, uh, we can uh, uh, create uh, the uh, the plant itself that is going to uh, the stems of the plant where these leaves are going to emanate so to do that we can just create a plane and i'm just going to rotate or reorient this something like uh, that so we want this to grow around this uh, uh this uh this wall so i'm just going to use to extrude this just scale it down you know actually we can do it a different way uh, to make to just have to get better control over the 
the how these vines grow, we can just use. I didn't use it for this plate for this here, but uh, I'm just trying out something different that uh, I think would work even much better. So if we add um, a glaze pencil, uh, blank, and go to draw, we can draw. We can draw uh, surfaces like this, strokes like that, and uh, there is an option to draw over a surface. Uh, meaning we can draw directly onto the wall to have something like that and uh, that's what we are going to uh, to do so let me just undo that and uh, then so draw a stroke like that can even make it branch off if you want yeah something like that and uh, then after can go out of that right click and then convert uh, to let's convert it to a bezier curve uh, go to my outliner outliner just find that and find my bezier curve I think it's this here I think it's yeah it's that let me first shut off my glaze pencil you can see uh, we have our curve, but uh, right now it has a lot of uh, control points. So I'll just decimate that uh, the curve by going by right clicking in edit mode of the curve and then decimate the curve so that we can reduce the number of uh, polygons we have. So that's good enough. And uh, now I can go to the bevel, uh, to the curve properties, and uh, change, give it a bevel depth. Something like that is, is okay. And uh, we can also go to the a fill mode and change this to, let's see, I think it could be half. Actually, half won't work. We want it to be, the faces to be facing this. Yeah, actually, it works for some, but uh, we need to rotate this so that uh, yeah, it's facing the other way. But uh, we can just use full and reduce the resolution the preview resolution and then convert this into a mesh and uh, we're going to use this as our emitter uh, to emit uh, the particles i don't want uh, this here that has gone into uh, the wall so i'll just uh, delete that now this is what we have we can use this now give this a part a hair particle system here like that i can reduce this to about uh, 500 and I'll then select change and render change this to object and uh, find uh, the object we have just created our grass particle or leaf particle now if you preview this you can see uh, that uh, we have our leaf already sorry our grow, growing plant uh, now we just have to change a few settings here uh, we don't this we don't want this to show up uh, the the mesh itself will show up but uh, before we do that you can see that some of the leaves are growing into uh, the wall which is not something we want and uh, that's uh, a result of uh, because we are generating the particles using the normal direction using the animals so let's just go in and uh, remove all the faces all the faces that are facing into the wall so that we don't have any particles growing that side now let's make sure that uh, our normals are facing the right direction yeah, it seems uh, that is good on that side now we can play around with the uh, rotation here randomize things now we can even make this a bit flatter we can make this a bit flatter so that uh, uh, i can see that uh, we still have some of some issues facing this side so i'm going to delete those faces We 
don't want to have any normals facing directly into the wall so that's why I'm re removing those and uh, let me first make sure that uh, all of these are facing outside all our, all, all our particles are facing outside so I'm just going to squish them a bit so it seems they're facing most of them are facing into the wall which is not what I want so I can change this to let's see no more tangent sometimes it's a bit hard to get the right direction here but, uh, let's see if we move this randomize this a bit and see how this is going to be uh, for now we can turn off instance we can turn off the instance so that we don't really see it we just see the growing uh, plant can turn on uh, can increase uh, the randomization of uh, this let's make them a bit smaller increase the randomization uh, and then the rotation as well the random rotation you can increase uh, the particle count you can see what we have maybe scale them up even further and see you can make them into any shape if you want to be fancy you can even write your name with them So, and uh, the great thing about this is that uh, you can continue making more. So if I wanted uh, some, some of these, let me first isolate uh, the wall and this, uh, this wall here and our emitter for a second. Yeah, so if I wanted to have them grow on this wall, I can just go into edit mode of this and uh, add a plane somewhere there and uh, who we'll have particles growing on that and uh, now I can just extrude this and uh, extrude this edge as well and you can see we have that I can even extrude this further add in a few faces and we have that wall entirely covered just going to grab this like that and you can see now Thing that looks much better Let's see how it adds uh, to the scene anyway that's it I thank you for watching